Hey everybody, welcome to today's routine. As this is our short version, we'll waste no time in our seated forward fold. Please have a seat, both legs straight out in front of your body, and then just lean forward into your legs, completely relaxing through your back muscles and rounding through your spine if you need to. Just plop in there, and this will be a very short 30 second hold. Already, we're at our halfway point. And the time is already up for this one. Our next pose is our half seated frog. Leave your right leg forward and pull your left leg around behind you with your foot tucked back. If you need to elevate your hips, please do so as that will definitely help a lot. Now for the half seated frog, we will angle between the back leg and the front leg, shooting the middle. This is only a one minute position. So again, fall into position, do the best you can with what your body feels like it wants to do, and then completely relax into the target areas. The targets for this one are the growing and the lower back and a little bit of the front right hamstrings. You're at your halfway point. You have 30 seconds left on this side. And the time is up for this one. So please now come out of the pose and we will move into our left side pigeon position for the next pose. This is a left leg pigeon pose. So please set yourself up into that left leg. And this will be a two minute position. Make sure you feel no pain in the knee or in the hip crease. Two minutes, left side pigeon starting now. Your job in the position is to focus on the target areas. For this one, the little IT, to sit there and try to just relax into them. There's no clenching, fighting, or resisting in those areas. Anything you need to do to help facilitate a passive pose is what we encourage you to do. You are at the halfway point. We have one more minute here. And please come out of this side and we'll move into our half seated frog on the left side, which is left leg forward and right leg pulled behind you. Elevating the hips is usually something that many need to do. Please do so. Half seated frog targeting the growing lower back and somewhat into the front hamstrings. Angle your body in between your back knee and your front leg. We have a one minute pose, one minute half seated frog left side starting now.
find your halfway point. side pigeon position for our next posture. Targeting gluteal plus the IT band. Just knowing 75% of your gluteus maximus turns into your IT band and only 25% of it attaches to the femur bone. This is a huge target and very important one. So two minutes right side. Last 30 seconds. And the time is up for this one, so please transition out of the pose. Let's set up for our puppy dog, targeting the shoulders, torso, and upper back. This puppy dog position from hands and knees, arms forward, palms down. It will be a one minute hold. One minute, puppy dog, from here. transition out of puppy dog to lying down on your back. When you lie down on your back, bend your knees and set your feet up about the width of your hips or even a little wider with your knees bent. From there, let both of your legs fall to the right. This is called internal supine twist. You are targeting the internal rotation of the hip. And by doing so, both knees fall to the right. We are targeting the left leg. The right foot can lift and place on top of the left knee. This is a very short 30 seconds. If you are unfamiliar with this position, it's always recommended to check out our pose breakdown galleries. At any point, you can reference those positions and the explanations as you'll see how to do them. And also including all the variations of them and props within them.
now I'd like you just to change other side. Undo that side, let both knees fall to your left. Your left foot can lift up and put it on top of the right knee, which will increase the sensation because the weight of the foot increases the stretch. But be gentle. This is another 30 second hold. Please undo this side and then just lying down as we enter into the rebound for this routine. We'll say officially that's going to do it. Thanks for joining us. Take care, everyone. And again, we hope that you join us for tomorrow's program. We'll see you then.